displacement in vertical component S is equal to Y. UIT plus 1 by 2 AYT square is equal to Y. By substituting UY is equal to U sine theta and A is equal to minus G, we get Y is equal to U sine theta T minus 1 by 2 G into X by U cos theta whole square. Y is equal to U sine theta minus 1 by 2 G of X by U cos theta square. From this we get Y is equal to tan theta X minus G by 2U square cos square theta X square. Values G, theta and U are constants. Therefore Y is equal to AX minus BX square where A is equal to tan theta, B is equal to g by 2u square cos square theta. This equation represents parabola, so that the trajectory of the projectile is parabola. The horizontal component velocity remains constant because there is no acceleration in this direction. The vertical component velocity decreases gradually and finally becomes zero at the highest point. Time taken to reach maximum height. The time is denoted by TA at the maximum height. The vertical velocity is zero. That is, VY is equal to zero. From the equation VY is equal to U sine theta minus GTA is equal to zero we get TA is equal to U sine theta by G. Time of flight T. The total time of the projectile takes to reach the same horizontal plane of projection to reach point B is called the time of flight. The time of flight can be obtained by substituting y is equal to 0, t is equal to t time of flight in equation y is equal to u sine theta t minus 1 by 2 g t square. That is y is equal to u sine theta t minus 1 by 2 g t square is equal to 0. Therefore, t is equal to 2u sine theta by g. On comparing equations, ta is equal to u sine theta by g and t is equal to 2u sine theta by g. We get t is equal to 2ta, maximum height reached by the projectile. The maximum height reached by the projectile is determined by substituting time to reach maximum height. T is equal to TA in Y is equal to U sine theta T minus 1 by 2 G T square. Therefore Y is equal to U sine theta TA minus 1 by 2 G TA square. Here TA is equal to u sine theta by g. h maximum is equal to u sine theta into u sine theta by g minus 1 by 2 g u sine theta by g whole square. Therefore h maximum is equal to u square sine square theta by 2g. When theta is equal to 90 degree, that is the body projected vertically upwards, h maximum is equal to u square by 2g since sine 90 degree is equal to 1. This is equal to the maximum height reached by a body projected vertically upwards. Horizontal range R. 
The horizontal range is the horizontal distance traveled by the projectile while it touches the point on the same level of the point of projection, AB. Horizontal range can also be termed as the horizontal distance traveled by the projectile during time of flight T. Range R is equal to u square sine square theta by G. Example Two bodies are thrown with the same initial velocity at an angles alpha and 90 minus alpha to the horizon. What is the ratio of the maximum heights reached by the bodies? Solution Angles of two bodies thrown are alpha 90 minus alpha. Ratio of the maximum heights is equal to h1 by h2. Therefore, h1 by h2 is equal to u square sine square alpha by 2g 